Welcome at tutorial number 24 of the EEP-10 model railway simulator. In the previous video we have been working on our station north control circuit for the entry of the trains and we created all the sensors that we need for track 1. It worked, we tested it and let's now have a look at uh, what we need to do for track 2, 3 and 4. If you open up the program and have been working with me, then open the file that we saved under tutorial 23. And we ended up over there with this situation, where we have placed all the sensors for uh, track 1. Alright, let's see what we need to do for track 2. Suppose the, that uh, all the tracks are occupied and train of track 2 is leaving, in that case we want to throw this switch because uh, track 2 is now free and we are going to take some actions that uh, need to take place to open the signal and to throw the switches over here. Alright, let us do that. Uh, first of all, the, the, the signal that throws the switch itself, uh, let's go to Weiche mode, uh, the switch mode, yes that is already done. And well, let's try to find a place over here where we can add our switch, our si uh, sensor I mean. Let's do it here. And I remember that the track direction here was 2 and I have to go to Abzweig. And this should be OK. Uh, well, what I like to do is uh, have the order of the signals the same as on track 1, just for being neat and tidy. So that is good. And uh, let me zoom out a bit and go to back to the control circuit. What needs to be done next is first throw the, the, the signal is going open, that's good. So next thing we need to do is throw the switch of uh, track 2, which is this one. Let me click it and place a sensor over here that controls it to... Uh, I bet that will be upswijg, but I better check that, because that is not always the case. This is the direction. Yes, that says upswijg. This switch is set back by this sensor over here. So we never need to worry about that anymore. Although I see something wrong. Um, I see that we have uh, set that sensor to immediately throw the switch, but I need to do that at, sluice, at the train end, of course. Otherwise, I will be derailing myself. So let us also take care that this one uh, is also at the train end, not to have any derailing of our own train. That would be a shame. Alright, so we set the switch of the station. Now we are going to look at our control circuit. We need to reset uh, this one back to, let's see, Vaart. So let us click it and add a sensor that does that for us. Back to Vaart, the direction, and that's okay. Now I need a little bit more space, so let me carefully try to move these two guys. Also, what we need to accomplish is uh, this switch should now go back to, indeed, where it is already, the request waiting for a request loop, and that is richting Abzweig. So let me click it, and then place here a sensor that says Abzweig. Okay, I think that clears up the situation for track 2. Uh, do we still have time? Yeah, let's, uh, now that we are working on it, let's also do uh, track 3. Uh, what do we need to do? If track 3 uh, comes free, then we have to throw this switch. And let me read, it says Abzweig. So let's go over to the track 3 end of the station. And can we place one? Yes, we have room for that over here. The direction is 2, I guess, and I need to go to Abzweig. And let me also clean up this a little bit so that the signals, the sensors are in the same sequence as the other track, just for being neat and tidy. And now we go back to our control circuit and see what we need to do more. Well, we first need, of course, to take care that the switch that controls track 3 is this one. It is on Abzweig, so we need that one to go to Abzweig. Let me click it 
and place a sensor here to let it go to Abzweig and that is done uh, right now and then just as at the other track we did we have to reset this switch uh, so I click it I first read it it says fart uh, add a sensor to say fart uh, it's just uh, work that we are doing now it's not very intelligent but we need to do it and then of course this one needs to go back to well I cannot read it yes that says Abzweig uh, let me place that one over there and that needs to be Abzweig and only for direction one okay well we did a good job but now still we have to do track four the first thing we need to do is this switch for track four is going to fart it said fart well that is uh, deviant from the other ones but i cannot uh, uh, understand why but let's just believe it uh, i place the sensor over here yes there is room right click it and direction to fart okay that is good let me clean this up a bit so that we have the same situation as the other ones and then I think it is all neat and tidy yes that's good and now we go back to our control circuit we have to place the control for uh, this switch uh, that is that has to go to fart oh I suddenly have a switch too many that is a bit strange let me lose that I hope that everything still is okay this one has says fart I'm adding a switch for fart in my control circuit yes fart and direction one and let me move it out of the way a bit and now I'm going to reset this switch it says Abzweig yes click it and place a sensor right click it and say for direction one you have to go to Abzweig and also again our switch over here should go again to Abzweig now left click uh, right click that was the final one and Abzweig I think we did a good job we can pat ourselves on the shoulder but not before we put it to the test of course but before we are going to test I want to make clear one little error that I made I said in a previous video that we can use both systems uh, through each other but we cannot uh, this was the system over here the grouped sensor for the routes that we created and uh, we later we built this sensor to uh, just have for some sensor efficiency that meant that we needed less sensors over here but the problem is uh, as long as I have a train, train uh, allocated for uh, north 1 then it will always throw this switch but it has not run over this one uh, already so that uh, it does not listen to my control system anymore so what am I, I am going to do is to click all our trains uh, let me go to a overview point that is uh, the east camera and this one can go away I am going to click all my trains and say that they don't have a route anymore we can still uh, keep the routes for later use but uh, at this moment we are just not going to allocate them oh I already did that one uh, yeah this is also all routes and this train is also for all routes that means that now our control system has full control and let's see what is going to happen no before we are going to do anything I see that only track 1 is occupied, 2, 3 and 4 are empty and of course I need to set the default for my control system uh, exactly the same. So track 1 is occupied, track 2 is free, uh, this one is free and this one is free. Now I have the correct starting situation and now we are going to have a look uh, in 3d view if it comes up uh, what is going to happen so let me start up a train and see if it goes to track 2 which is the first free track over there uh, this is a fast guy so I can already if it has left the switch 
I can already let go this one too and see if that goes to track 3. Well, I'm curious. Let's rotate our view a bit. Well, that one does, uh, does a good job. It goes to track 2. And now I'm curious if this one is going to track 3. Well, if we zoom in, we can see uh, the switches. Uh, it should throw this switch. It should throw this switch. So have a look. Yes, that uh, went well. So we know now already, let's go to the east camera again, that it goes to track 3. Well, I think that we did a perfect job. We have been creating a control circuit that controls station north. And in the next video, it would be a challenge to add a fourth train on track four or maybe over here. And maybe even a fifth train just to test it out because also station uh, south is controlling itself. Let's have a look. Uh, oh, that was a little bit fast what I did there. That is of course not good. Let me break that one. Uh, oops, just in time. And let me now start it again. I was a bit too enthusiast. Well, we obviously also need a control system for the exit of the station because the, as you see, the uh, station traffic control manager, which was me, can make some errors and release the train too soon. So we better install a block uh, safety system over there. But let's see if train 3 is now uh, listening to uh, all the signals. It cannot enter station south. And if it does not, then we are going to call it the day for this video. And in the next one, we are going to add a fourth and maybe even a fifth train, just for fun. Okay, this worked fine, so I'm going to end it and I'm going to save it, save as, and uh, this was video 24. Okay, I already had that, but if you have not, you can type it in, of course.